hello friends welcome to this video i hope all of you are doing good so today also we are going to discuss another topic which will be useful for apsc cc mains examination and as you can see that the topic is on india's internal security threats or challenges okay and this particular topic should be helpful in general studies 3 or paper 4 of apsc cc mains syllabus so uh, let's get started with the discussion but before that uh, i would like to request you to join our telegram channel telegram channel is with this name learning with uh, ritun and you can also um, scan this uh, barcode uh, to join the channel where from time to time we keep uploading quiz and other interesting stuff so now let's proceed uh, towards our discussion so india's internal security threats and what our government should do or the government is doing to minimize such security threats or what are our internal security challenges so internal means uh, those security challenges which originate within the borders of our country not from other uh, countries other neighboring countries or from a third country but uh, the security threats which are mainly due to uh, our internal reasons or internal factors so uh, the first uh, secu internal security threat of india is from terrorism or terrorist related activity so uh, india has been a target of terrorist attacks for many years as we all know and terrorist organizations like laskar e toiba then uh, jaish e mohammed and uh, indian mujahideen they have carried out several terrorist activities in uh, various parts of the country so these organizations they have carried out several terrorist activities and uh, mm, uh, like some of, mm, most of these organizations are actually supported by pakistan uh, but many locals are involved in such uh, groups in such terror outfits and that is why this causes a huge internal security risk or internal security threat to our country to counter this what india should do our government should improve its intelligence gathering capabilities okay very important then enhance border security because cross-border terrorism is also involved many locals uh, are taken to pakistan and they get terrorist training there and so that they cannot uh, cross the border to another country and they get training there who come back and execute various terrorist activities therefore our border security should be enhanced and the government is also working in that direction and uh, improve coordination between uh, various uh, different security agencies okay this is also uh, important like intelligence agencies then army police so all uh, bodies all security agencies should work in a collective manner to reduce the threats of terrorism in our country and as already discussed jammu and kashmir uh, has suffered a lot due to terrorism from uh, this particular groups because uh, jnk is just across the border you can see and terrorists can easily infiltrate uh, inside our country and uh, many terrorist activities have been carried out in the past so uh, another security threat internal security threat to our country is uh, naxalism okay naxalism what is naxalism it is a left wing extremist movement that has been active in several states in india so naxalism is a left extremist movement once again they also have carried out many terrorist activities our security personnel have been killed and our security personnel like uh, crpf uh, have been like uh, affected to an extent due to terrorist activities uh, by the Naxalists and what they want to do is they basically want to establish their own government in their areas of dominance so wherever they are dominant this Naxalists so they want to establish their own government by overthrowing the government of India's rule in those places so th that is how Naxalism is a, a huge security threat in our country 
but naxalism is mainly involved in dense forests in uh, several states and uh, yes so they are not very much common in urban areas or in mainstream uh, like uh, places but mostly in dense forests where uh, it is very difficult to go and uh, in many places they have also planted landmines etc so also it sometimes becomes risky for our security personnel to go to those places anyway so this problem also has to be uh, solved or addressed by the government so what the government needs to do is focus on improving uh, socio economic conditions in the affected areas okay socio economic conditions of the tribal population who live in those areas and provide better governance the government also needs to enhance uh, security forces enhance uh, the security forces who are involved in anti naxal operation in those places and intelligence gathering is also another important aspect which the government has been doing and the government needs to do further to reduce any security threat due to the naxals and uh, this is a map of india and several states have been shown here like chatisgarh jharkhand odisha maharashtra madhya pradesh and also to some extent in andhra pradesh so uh, naxal activities are often carried out or naxalis are mainly active in not, not throughout the whole states but in certain areas the naxalis are still active so then insurgency in northeast india so this is another uh, internal security risk for our country so in mainly in 90s uh, and early 2000s so um, and this um, insurgency in northeast india was a very big issue insurgency was at the peak but over the years in last uh, last decade so insurgency has been reduced to a great extent in the northeast india but still there are some insurgent groups who still want separate country for themselves and uh, often uh, smaller scale terrorist activities are being carried out by um, these insurgents in different parts of northeast india although this has reduced in intensity as opposed to 90s and early 2000s so several insurgent groups are still active and they have been demanding cessation from india they want to uh, create several uh, i mean separate country out of uh, india okay to tackle this what the government needs to do government needs to address this political and economic grievances of the people of the region okay so very important uh, so unless there is economic development or there is more uh, autonomy is provided to the uh, population here so this type of activities uh, will be carried out insurgents will continue to be there and also needs to improve infrastructure and provide better employment opportunities okay so once again socio economic developments must be carried out by the government so that the insurgency threat in northeast india can be reduced or minimized however uh, in the past 10 years or so the central government is taking a lot of steps for the northeastern region and a lot of infrastructure and economic development activities have been undertaken and uh, thereby the insurgency incidents or insurgency things have also um, been reduced to a great extent in northeastern part of india okay so then the next another uh, internal security threat to our country is communal tensions okay communal uh, tensions so um, india is a very diverse country okay we all know our country is very diverse and people from different religions faith and communities live together in the country and therefore it is very much uh, like uh, it may happen that if people of, of different uh, religions communities live together there may be always some differences okay religious or communal differences and uh, communal tensions have often resulted in violence and social unrest okay so communal tensions are quite common in our country in different parts of our country and that is due to the diversity of the population india's population mainly in terms of religion and community and such religious tensions have caused a lot of threats mainly violence unrest people have died also 
properties have been damaged. So these things are like huge security, internal security risk to our country. So what should the government do? The government needs to promote communal harmony and take sufficient strict, uh, take strict action against those people who indulge in hatred and violence, so promote violence and hatred. Okay, government, so communal harmony, economic development, so once again socio-economic developments must be carried out by the government so that communal tensions um, are reduced and such things uh, don't happen in our country and that way uh, this internal security risk will be minimized to a greater extent. Drug trafficking. So this is quite a new phenomenon in our country, drug trafficking. So uh, India happens to be a major transit point of drugs and it poses a significant security threat to our country's security. Because drug trafficking is mostly done by uh, criminals and criminals are often, uh, they are armed, they have weapons and uh, drug trafficking also involves a lot of money and therefore a lot of money, okay, so black money once again. So all these things cause huge security risk, risk to our country. The criminals are also involved in many um, like crime activities, uh, criminal activities. And that is a drug trafficking is a huge issue nowadays in many parts of our country and therefore it also possesses a significant security threat to our nation. To address this, the government needs to strengthen its law enforcement agencies, enhance border security and increase international cooperation. Okay. So enhance our law enforcement agencies, several law enforcement agencies like police, then uh, narcotics bureau are there so who uh, take part in anti-drugs activities our border security should be enhanced once again so that across the border no drugs or this narco substances can come inside our country and also international cooperation is required international cooperation means cooperation with our neighboring countries like uh, uh, Myanmar, um, uh, then uh, Bangladesh and uh, so more international cooperation is required so that the drug trafficking uh, type things can be reduced and minimized in our country otherwise which can be a major internal security threat to our nation. Then border security, once again India is a very huge and vast country and uh, in many places the border remains porous through such border like illegally people may enter our country okay india shares its border with several countries as we know from india's geography and therefore illegal immigration and if inf infiltration of terrorists are major security challenges okay terrorists may enter our country they may leave our country get terrorist training elsewhere uh, outside our country and also illegal immigration so who are immigrating into our country that we don't know many such people also get involved in anti-social or terrorist type of activities so therefore um, and also a pop a pop with illegal immigration population of our country also increases therefore uh, border security is also very important border security must be enhanced and strengthened by our country's government so that uh, such things like a, a entry of terrorists, entry of illegal immigrants, then drug trafficking also, they are, those are minimized. So at this is the government is to enhance border security measures such as building fences, okay, deploying more border guards like uh, BSF troops and improving surveillance capacities, capabilities uh, in our border region. So border security must be improved to uh, to minimize or uh, to reduce the uh, internal security to reduce several internal security risks that our country may face so here uh, this is a picture of our bsf jawans who are um, like you know this is a fenced border it, this must be a border somewhere and it is fenced so our uh, BSF Javans are guarding our borders. So such type of security arrangement is required to uh, minimize um, like internal security risks due to terrorists or illegal immigration. 
so radicalization radicalization is another uh, security threat for india radicalization of a youth is youth is a major uh, concern this leads to religious and fundamentalist terrorism risk so radicalization means uh, religiously uh, like in our youth may be brainwashed and so that uh, they take part in some terrorist activities and so on and this type of things have happened earlier due to radicalization involvement in terrorism like that so this also causes a huge internal security risk for our country to tackle this the government needs to promote tolerance okay, religious tolerance pluralism pluralism then democratic values and it also needs to enhance the intelligence gathering capabilities to identify those people who uh, to identify those people who may be radicalized very easily and provide them with counseling and support okay so anti anti radicalization uh, measures have to be taken by our government so that the people uh, mainly the youth youth are at higher risk of radicalization so that the youth they are not radicalized they are provided better support counseling and also intelligence gathering capabilities uh, of our security agencies also have to be improved so that this type of things don't happen in our society then economic offenses several economic offenses or economy related crimes are there which also uh, which also pose internal security risks to our country so some of these are like money laundering financial frauds corruption these are major economic offenses in our country the government needs to strengthen its legal and regulatory framework okay to tackle these issues it also needs to enhance its uh, investigative and enforcement capabilities to ensure that those who commit economic offenses are brought to justice okay so the that is why uh, like these steps have to be taken by government so that criminals or black money okay most of these things are related to once again uh, black money so the availability of black money poses a significant security risk to the internal security of our country because uh, that will result in corruption other financial frauds money laundering etc so uh, and uh, these are the various methods by which the government can reduce uh, the various economic offenses in the country so then um, cyber security cyber security like this is also a recent internal security threat with the increasing use of technology nowadays technology usage has increased significantly and in all aspects of life cyber security has become significant challenge for india mainly in uh, online banking or uh, transactions so we often get to see that uh, there are like hackers or there are um, like miscreants who uh, unauthorized who can get unauthorized access to banking details like uh, atm numbers or credit card numbers or um, like pin numbers of these uh, atms or credit cards so and uh, they can do anything like by hacking or by other means uh, uh, like uh, so we yeah. have so um, that way cyber criminals can also create kind of disturbance in our society suppose uh, there is a like uh, and there is also one uh, concept uh, where like uh, huge amount of sum is uh, huge amount of money or sum is asked from a certain like you know like hospitals or government offices because the systems the computer system on which these hospitals or government offices or even banks work that can be hacked by very smart criminals okay and in a ransom so they ask very huge amount of money then only the computers or the it systems of these big institutions they will be made free of ransomware so this type of incidents have happened and uh, that also poses a huge security threat okay therefore cyber security is also an emerging internal security threat for our country 
to address this, the government needs to enhance cyber security infrastructure, okay, and increase awareness among public about cyber threats, okay. So public awareness and uh, infrastructure developments for um, uh, cyber security infrastructure development and uh, public awareness are very important things by which the risks arising due to cyber security uh, can be avoided or minimized. So friends, these are the main topics of India's internal security and uh, I think each of these topics themselves can be explained in greater detail but uh, this was kind of overview uh, through which I tried to explain what are the various internal security challenges or risks being faced by our country uh, these days. So I hope uh, you have enjoyed the discussion, you have liked this point-wise discussion and you can remember the points, various points of internal security threats to our country. So um, if you have liked the content, uh, so please like the video, share it and also subscribe to the channel. I would like to conclude by thanking you for watching this video. I will soon see you in another video.